This is the book of Romans, chapter 14, and verse 22. Hast thou faith? Have it to thyself before Yahweh. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in that thing which he alloweth. All right, Shalom, Yeshua. All right, first and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, about Hashem Yahweh Shai, about Hashem Rakak Kurash. All right, double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who I believe are the true, sincere prophets. Peace and salutations unto the elect. All right, so, you know, um, I, I just finished uh, working out, you know, I showered, I haven't even eaten yet, but, uh, you know, I, I wanted to make this lesson real quick because, um, you know, I, I see a lot of, you know, well, I don't see it, but, you know, I know a lot of times, you know, within myself that, you know, you're just too hard on yourself, all right, and, and you know. First and foremost, talking to myself, I want to say, you know, you know, cut that out, man. You know, cut that out, all right, because at the end of the day, when, when you're condemning yourself, you know, you're showing the Lord that you're not, you don't really, you know, uh, you don't really do things, you know, and you don't really uh, uh, believe, okay? And what I mean by that is the Lord has our back. Okay, the Lord is an understandable person. He understands. All right, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, knows our inward parts. Okay, all right, with, with that being said, you know, it's great to have standards for yourself and to have a backbone and to, you know, uh, um, move a certain way. But when, you, when your standards are, are extremely high and, you know, you you fall to the flesh, which is, you know, something we do every day, you know, you're falling, you're falling to the flesh, you're condemning yourself uh, too harshly, you know, and that could lead you to fall out. Okay, so this is Romans 14 and 22. Hast thou faith? Okay, he's asking, are you, at, do you have faith? Have it to thyself before Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in that thing which he alloweth. Right, you you maybe allow something that you 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 didn't really want to allow. Right, you may have done something that uh that uh you know you're disappointed in yourself, and you know we get it. You know disappointment. Uh, you know you fall short. You know you get disappointed. You know uh you you want you know you want to please the Lord and you know all you can. But uh you know sometimes is 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 you know it's hard. So you allow a certain thing. You know, I'm going to be completely honest. Uh, you know, uh, and when I first came into this thing, and, you know, every day, you know, or like, uh, I mean, like, even now, you know, uh, <laughs> that spirit of lust gets on you, okay? And, you know, every brother has a, uh, has a, a demon on them, you know, f you know, fighting, you know, you're fighting off the spirit. Or it's like you're not the spirit, but you're fighting off these demons, okay? And and um, you know you're fighting these demons, and you know sometimes one of one of them, you know, you might lose a battle or two. You know you, you might lose a battle or two, but but the important thing is that you stay in the battle, you stay in the fight. All right, that's why I was asking. That's why I was saying, happy is he that happy is he that condemned not himself, right? Because we understand that you know. Yes, you know, we, we shouldn't have allowed it, but, you you know, you have to use it to get better, okay? <laughs> if we were perfect, then there would be no need to be saved, right? But we're not perfect. This world is not perfect. Nothing here is perfect, okay? Nothing here is perfect. But the Lord, when the Lord comes, he shall make us perfect, okay? So since we are of imperfection, we cannot, you know, be... Uh, without mistake, right? And every little imperfection that we have here, you know, is going to be fixed at the end of the day. Okay, so as long as you have your faith, Akim, you know, as long as you have faith in the Lord, that the Lord, 
you know, is gonna is gonna um forgive you because at the end of the day that's what we need. We need forgiveness and we need faith in the Lord. Okay. So with that being said, you know, part of this thing is to have faith into the Lord and that's really the most important thing. Okay, building a relationship with Yahweh Baha Shimi Shai. All right, you have to build a relationship with Yahweh Baha Shimi Shai. All right, and I'm talking to every individual that's watching this. Okay, that's why I'm not loud right now. That's why I'm not, you know, um, stirring off track because this is very important that you must understand. Okay, and I would strongly suggest brothers, you know, newer brothers to take notes, man. You know, take notes because. Because um, we're moving into a time where where um, we're gonna need all the faith we can get in the Lord, okay. And if you can't, and if you can't get over this, you know, if you can't get over this small thing, you know, like ah, oh, you know, I messed up, you know, the, the Lord hates me now, you know, the Lord's gonna be that, you know, no, don't think like that, all right? Because if you can't even know within yourself that the Lord forgiving you and that you were not perfect, you, your faith is just gonna dwindle, okay. So, real quick, this is Deuteronomy, chapter 31 and verse 6. Or let me see. Um, let me. Um, now, let me just start at verse 6. Let me start at verse 6. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord, Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, thy power, right, this is your power. He it, he it is that doeth go with thee, right, the Lord is with you, okay? He will not fail thee nor forsake thee. This is what you need to have in your head, all right, imprinted in your head. Every single time, you know, you know, um, you fall and, you know, you, you, you fail, you have to have it within your 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 mind imprinted in your head, like you know what, this is the flesh, okay, this is the flesh, and you know you just can't you, you can't control some things, right? We're gonna fall short. You know, um, if you brothers have pets, you know, uh, uh, I have a cat. Okay, I used to have a dog, but uh, you know, you know, or it, I had a I have a cat now, but um, either either way. You know, they would poop and, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, they do certain things that, you know, you know, they, they, they don't know, you know, you, they're, it's just a little, it's a pet, you know, and, you know, sometimes they do things that, that they know they shouldn't do, but sometimes, you know, um, you know, you get mad at them before and, you know, you try to tell them a lesson, but they do it again and, you know, you look at your dog and it looks all sad, you know, you have pity upon you, right? That's what the Lord is with us. Obviously, we're not, you know, we're not pets of the Lord. We're the children of the Lord, which is even more, right? <laughs> the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahashai, is our Father, our Heavenly Father, okay? Once you understand that, you know, that's a big thing. He is our Heavenly Father. He is our Father, okay? And our Father... You have to have that in your heart, in your mind, that Yahweh Hashem Shai is our father, Yahweh Shai being our bigger brother, our older brother. Right? So, do you really think that they're not going to forgive you for something, you know, even when you're trying to push hard? You know, you see around, you look around you, these other people are not trying at all. And you really think that the Lord is, is, is not going to forgive you? You know, obviously, this isn't a pass, you know, to just go sin and, and, you know, go out. But, you know, when it does happen and you're, you know, sincerely trying to fight it off and it just catches you, you know, you have to understand that the Lord is with you. So let me read this again. Deuteronomy 31 and 6. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, shall thy power. He it is that go with that do go with with you, with thee. He will not fail thee nor forsake thee. Right, okay. The Lord will not forsake you. <laughs> you know. And um, quick testimony. 
you know, and I bring this brother a lot, but but you know, when I was first in this thing, you know, the brother you call was uh was a very uh, uh a very helpful brother, all right. And obviously all the Aki are helpful now. But at the time the only brother I knew was your call. You know, he was the only one that I had his phone number and you know, we stayed in contact. And you know, when I was first in this thing, you know, uh if I was by myself, you know, I would have probably stared off. But the Lord gave me the, the spirit to, you know, tell this brother and be honest with this brother you call that like, you know, like, hey, you know, um I fell I fell short of the glory. You know, I fell short of the glory and, and you know, I feel terrible right now. You know, and you know, I I don't know what to do and you know, I keep falling to the same thing and I was just, you know, to lack of better words, I was being a whiny crybaby. All right, and the brother you called told me, lift up your head, King. Okay, lift up your head. Don't condemn yourself. If you're condemning, you're being too harsh on yourself. You know, just stay strong, keep fighting, get back up. Knock the dust off your shoulders and get back up. You know, and those words resonated me all those years ago, and they still resonate with me. Okay? Because those are strong words. And I hope this lesson resonates with you, Akim. Whoever it may be watching. You know that, you know, when you're falling short, you know, when, when you're falling, you know, when, when, when you are losing, you know, some battles, just know you're going to win. You're going to win at the end. Okay. Let me, let me get this real quick. <clears throat> okay. Uh, it's right here. This is first Corinthians 15 and 54. <coughs> So when this corruptible shall put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be shall be brought to to pass, saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Okay, and you know back in the ancient times when you sinned, when you did a certain particular sins, you know like breaking the Shabbat, you know that that would you know that's a very serious offense. Okay. Very serious offense. You know, sometimes brothers have to work. You know, and matter of fact, most of the time brothers have to work. Okay? If brothers had this thing of like, oh, man, I, I went off, you know, the Lord's going to kill me. You know, no. Brothers don't have it because brothers understand, okay, I can't control this. You know, and the Lord will forgive you, man. The Lord will forgive you. And Slack if we're going off track, but death, you know, usually some sins when you go off, you know, they, they would kill you. All right. But guess what? Death is going to be swallowed up in victory. Okay. Death will be swallowed up in victory because you're going to be immortal. You're going to be perfect. All right. So don't be so harsh on yourself, Hakim. You know, these are words of encouragement because right now we need, you know, to to believe in the Lord more than ever right now. All right. And I'm saying this sincerely to any brother out there that's watching. Sincerely, truly believe in the Lord. You know, do it. You know, do it for yourself, man. Do it for your for your people. You know that the Lord may have mercy upon your people, uh, because of you. You know, because of you. Okay. Uh, real quick, <coughs> Salakia. Real quick, let me get, let me get, uh, I already got this out. Uh, let me get, let me get Isaiah, let me get the book, the book of Isaiah, the book of Isaiah chapter 41. All right, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, and verse 10. Fear thou not. Okay, why is the Lord telling you to fear not? Because the Lord understands that we're going to be terrified because we're going off all the time. You know, and we're this flesh. For I am with thee. Right. You know, a, a hiccup, you know, it's not going to ruin your relationship with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. You know, what the, the scriptures say, uh, roughly paraphrasing, uh, how's it go? 
let me get it actually. Let me get it up to this. Okay. Um, be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Brothers, listen to this, okay? Listen to what the Lord is saying, man. The Lord is saying that he is with you. If those are not words of encouragement, I don't know what is, man. You know, the Lord is with us. You know, the Lord is with us, man. And, you know, that that should bring a smile to your face because you, we understand that, you know, we were catching how right now, you know, <laughs> you know, you go, you know, you walk down, the, you know, you, you do certain shit. You didn't know, man, you know, we're going, you know, just, shit happens, man. You know, not, now I'm not saying, you know, oh, you know, go, you know, oh, shit, you know, do whatever the hell you want, you know, but if you're sincerely trying to, you know, keep the, the, uh, you know, if you're simply trying to be closest to you, how about you know, as as possible, a simple hiccup, you know, it's not going to do nothing, man. You know, a, a, a simple hook is not, not going to do nothing, All right? I don't know why this dude just walked up so close to me. <laughs> but, uh, verse 11, Behold, all, all that were, it's like it, all they that were in ceased against, Thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they shall, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Right, you know, because we're getting, we get heckled at, you know, we get laughed at for the things that we believe in, you know, um, you know, we get scoffed at, you know, by our own people when we're preaching the this this wonderful news, man, this wonderful news that the Lord is coming, that them cherries gonna come over here, they're gonna beam us up. And these people laugh at us, okay? <laughs> that that would be discouraging to any other person, but not to the men of the Lord, man. You know why? Because we understand the Lord is with us. And that's the whole uh, theme of this lesson, okay? I know I started with not condemning yourself, but the whole thing, the reason I brought that up is so that you can understand that the Lord is with us, okay? Don't condemn yourself because the Lord is with us, all right? Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them, even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee, shall be as nothing, and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahushai, thy power, withhold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Brothers, this is the Lord, the, the creator of all things, man. You know, look around you. The, the the you know these all these earths the creator of it all man is telling you that he is gonna help you. You know how is that not encouraging? You know these these words are beautiful powerful words man. How is it not encouraging? You know. These are the, these scriptures are beautiful man. You know uh. <laughs> that's why that's why it says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. Why does it say that? Because we understand, okay, you know, we did all this work for the Lord. The Lord is going to help us out now, you know, and that's through your faith because faith without works is dead. Okay, you, you have faith and you're showing the Lord you have faith. You know, you're showing integrity. You get home, you know, I get home out of time with my people, you know, my family, uh, you know, uh, eating pork and shit and, you know. Uh, my, my brother would always, you know, kind of scoff at me. You want some? You know, like, nah, man, you know. Nah, bro, I'm good, man, you know. He'll eat, a, he'll eat like, a piece of pepperoni on it. put some munchie on it. I mean, this shit bomb. Like, bro, <laughs> it's not even that good, man, you know. Like, yeah, you know, I tried telling him, you know. But, you know, they don't listen, you know. But, but we have integrity that we understand that we're not going to eat that stuff. You know, we're not going to, we're not going to move a certain way. We're not going to move with pride. Why? Because we know the Lord told us not to do this, you know, and really that's, that's, that's the beauty of it all, man, that we have nothing to worry about. Okay. We have absolutely nothing to worry about. I feel. Okay. Let me get the book of Hebrews. Chapter 13 and verse five. 
let your conversations be without covetingness, but flock it, and be content with such things as ye have, for he had said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Right, man. The Lord is not going to forsake you. So that we may boldly say, The Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai, is my helper. The Lord is your helper, brother. The Lord is your helper. All right. And I will not fear what man shall do unto me. All right, man. You know, so when so when we we were uh, we're going around and you know where where we you know you have your posters up, you know, <laughs> you know there, you might come. We're coming to a time where where you know brothers are gonna have a poster up, you know, Instagram everywhere with your with your face on it, your your big old face on it, and you know saying wanted dead or alive, you know, with a one million dollar cash prize. You know, we're not gonna fear that. You know, why? Because the Lord got us and we understand the Lord got us. Okay. The Lord got us. Now, let me get that scripture that I said I wanted to get. The Lord really comes to my mind. Um, uh, <clears throat> Try to put in this. Oh, call Loyal Bashim Al Shai. It's right here. Hebrews 6 and 10. Now let me click on it. Um, give me one second, I can. Hebrews 6 and 10. Mm. On. This is the book of Hebrews. Uh, let me start. Let me start at verse 9. Hebrews 6 and 9. Uh, let me turn down the brightness. But beloved, we are persuaded better things of you and things that occupy salvation like it salvation through us through we thus speak all right this is the point verse 10 for Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your works and labor of love all right you know a lot of times you know brothers are doing lessons you know coming back from work on their way to work at work uh, i did a lesson at, at my uh, company site you know, be like ten minutes before I had to go in. You know, before them big old doors open. You know, I had to. I popped out a quick. You know, the spirit was on me to pop out a quick ten minute lesson. You know, these little things. You know, the Lord is looking. All right. When brothers go out there and camp, you know, some some brothers, you know, didn't get a chance to eat, or or you know. uh you know, uh, you know, something came up where, where you know, they, they didn't have a chance to do this or certain thing, and they still go out there, you know, that takes faith, that takes, you know, labor, that's labor of love, man, and you think the Lord isn't going to help you for that? It's good, I'm reading it right here, Hebrews 6 and 10, for Yahweh is not unrighteous to forget your works and labors of love, which ye have shewed towards his name. Right, call her Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. How many times have I said that this video? You know, we say this on a daily basis, man, on an hourly basis. You know, always thinking about the Lord. There's not a, there's not a, you know, for me, there's not a what like ten minutes that go by that I'm not thinking of the Lord, man. You know, in that ye have ministered. To the saints and do minister right we're we're ministering this you know we're we're um we're preaching the gospel though one hundred percent gospel you know starting with the elders and apostles we're most and on down all right you know think about it man think about it think about these you think about it like this you know the elder apostle tahar you know let's say let's say um you know 
Uh, or let me use myself, actually. Uh, let me not use the elder. Let me use myself. Uh, say I, you know, I go off. You know, I go off and, you know, I I, I fall to the to the flesh. And, you know, I, um, uh, let's say I, I, you know, I did something on the Shabbat, okay? Um, you know, the Lord isn't going to forget, you know, all these things uh, that I did for the Lord for that one mistake, that one little mistake. Well, it's not little, but, you know, the Lord isn't going to, isn't going to, you know, <clears throat> isn't going to not forgive me. And I have faith that the Lord will forgive me. Okay, because it takes faith to have that, and you, Akim, should have that too. Okay, this isn't this isn't a pride thing, you know. And I'm not proudly saying, "Oh, the Lord is gonna forgive me." No, but we have faith that you know we're humbly, you know, asking the Lord to forgive us, and through our faith, we are um, reassured that the Lord did forgive us. Okay, so um, you know, it's lucky for rambling so much. But the spirit was just on me, you know, to um, just encourage brothers, you know, any brother who might who might be feeling down or, you know, feel like, you know, um, you know, you're not doing enough, which, you know, we can always do more. You know, I can always do more. You know, <clears throat> you know, brothers that that, you know, you, you think that, um, you know, falling short, you know, one time or, you know, however many times you, you know, you do fall, you know, hey, the, the only thing that counts is that you get back up and you start fighting, man, you know, until that last bell, okay, until that last bell, and we're at the last bell, all right, so, you know, with that, you know, I'm going to close out, I believe it was, you know, it was a pretty long lesson, you know, uh, hey, call hello, you how about how you how was shy, the song that I was playing, the song that I had playing before coming here, or it's like before uh, doing this video, it's called Right Here. You know, call hello, y'all watching me, I'm shy. How crazy is that? You know, because the Lord is right here. And, you know, the picture of it is uh, uh, this dude or this girl hugging this dude. And, you know, the dude is reassuring her. And what do we represent? We represent the wives of the Lord. All right. So, you know, I'm not going to beat a dead horse. You know, uh, Lord, it was that fine. You know, I want to close out by giving all praise and honor to you. How will? You know, I truly hope this was edifying.